Hi guys, welcome to the Power DSP lessons. In this lesson, we are going to see couple of examples in quantization. Let's start with the first example. In this 12-bit ADC example, we need to find number of quantization levels, step size and quantization level for a particular analog voltage. The analog voltage given here is 1.33 volt. The input voltage is ranging from minus 2 to plus 2. Since the voltage is varying on both positive and negative sides, it is called bipolar quantization. First, we have to find the number of quantization levels. Bit depth of n will give 2 power n quantization levels. n is 12. So, there are 2 power 12, that is 4096 quantization levels. Next, we find the step size by the simple equation x maximum minus x minimum divided by 2 power n x maximum is 2 and x minimum is minus 2. 2 power n is 4096. After substituting these values, we get the step size which is given here. Next, we find the quantization level for the analog voltage 1.33 volt. For this, we need to find first the index value by the equation i is equal to round of x minus x minimum divided by del. x is 1.33 volt x minimum is minus 2 volt, del is the step size which has been calculated already. After substituting all the values, we get the index value as 3410 after rounding. Then we substitute del i and the minimum voltage level in the equation xq is equal to x minimum plus del i to get the value of the quantized voltage. The quantized value is given here. The quantization error is calculated by subtracting the original sample value from the quantized value. Let's move to the next example which is same as the previous one except the input analog voltage range. The analog input voltage is varying from 0 to 2. The voltage is varying only in the positive side so it is called unipolar quantization. The number of quantization levels are same as the previous example because it depends on the bit depth n which has the same value of 12 for both the examples. The step size is calculated by substituting the value. x minimum is 0 now so the step size is reduced to half the value of the previous example. Next index i is calculated for the same analog input voltage 1.33 volt. Then the quantized level is calculated by using the values of del and i. The quantization error is also given. Let us compare next how the analog voltage 1.33 volt is quantized in bipolar and unipolar quantizers. In this table, we can see that this particular analog voltage of 1.33 volt is quantized to the same value. But we can see that the interval which is mapped to this quantization level is different. The interval depends on the step size. The step size of the unipolar quantizer is of the value of the bipolar quantizer. So the interval of the unipolar quantizer and bipolar quantizer take the values based on its respective step sizes. The upper limit of the interval is given by adding the of the step size to the quantization level. Similarly, the lower limit of the interval is given by subtracting of the step size from the quantization level. The input voltage always lies either between the upper limit and quantization level or between the quantization level and lower limit. So the quantization noise magnitude always lies between 0 and of the step size. Okay, thanks for your attention. See you. Bye bye.